Okay, uh, got a package. Uh, I just cut open, haven't looked in it yet. Um, brought out my name, but well, except for that, that that's my haha uh, funny name. 18 pounds, this thing's heavy. Oh, and yeah, I can do it with one arm. I mean, I got, this is also, oops, this is also 18 pounds. Um, but yeah, let's, <laughs> I haven't opened it yet. Like I said, just cut it open uh, with my knife right there. Um, I wonder what it is. It's like the stuff I've been addicted to for the past couple months. <laughs> So, uh, it even came into cases. Um, if you couldn't tell, uh, <laughs> these are these are cameras. Um, well, actually, you probably couldn't tell because they were wrapped. But uh, I don't know what this is. Um, don't want to don't want to spoil anything. I only looked at the picture. Um, there weren't that many good ones, but uh, they're probably all broken. This one also comes in a case. It's cool. Uh, three ominous black cases so far from what I can see. So. I'm just going to leave everything out here. My room's a mess because I've just been too tired. It's not that bad. Um, I have another box from another <laughs> camera that I just got that I fixed. So we'll put everything out there and then we'll un fully unbox everything else. This thing's, m this thing's massive. Got the rainbow. That, that's Polaroid. That, that's for sure Polaroid because that color. Like the old Polaroid. Another one? Oh my lord. Uh, blow high, you're gonna just move over a little. It's the shard, Ikea shard. And then another, they're all in cases. They're, what? Okay. Oh, okay. Um, do I have a tripod? I should have a tripod somewhere. Um, I don't know how I'll set this up. I want to open everything here on my desk. Oh, um, desk, what the hell am I talking about? My bed. Give me one second. Whatever, I, I, I can't find my tripod. I, I, well, I did, but I mean the uh, attachment. It's somewhere. I don't have time to look for it. Um, I don't know. I'll, I'll just do everything one-handed. So, um, let's go with this one, because th th this one is the weirdest one. It can barely see it. don't know what that is, but obviously it's all film cameras. Um, Come on. E. Come on. Ooh, okay. This is cool. It's an like old Kodak. I guess you look through there. Let me look through there. If I can. Oh, it's co is it covered or is it broken? Um, I think that's supposed to be a rangefinder right there. But yeah, he, he even left the the uh, film in there. I have no idea how to open this. Oh, that's how you... Is that? Oh, no way. Is that how you advance the film? Or is that how you unlock it? It felt like it unlocked it. Yeah. No, oh, I got... Oh, it's the disc ones. Well, obviously, it's his disc. But these are like the weird... Wait, I get, yeah, just the weird form, film format. Like, it, you would... It'd be on, the, like, this section right here. Which is where the aperture is. And it wi winds around through there. I don't know why the rangefinder isn't working. Uh, even if that, if that... That's what it looks like. I don't know how else you would take a photo with it. This is cool though. Ooh, and it instantly snaps back. I wonder if there's, ah, there you go. It has a cover on it. Here we go. I'm an idiot. Oh, and it tells you it's like, oh, for people. So like from what distance? Oh, it even has a flash. Is that him? Uh, wait, you're telling this thing, is that an auto winder? I don't know, let me look through this real quick. Okay, it's just like generic um, rangefinder. It's just like a square. Uh, there you go. Check out the time. But that's cool. Okay, let me, let me put the film cartridge back in. I do like that. It's like its own case as well, which is nice. So obviously, probably, it probably came in a box, much like the old Kodak Instamax. Insta what are they called? I have it over here. Yeah, Instamatics. Um, yeah, how, do I, how did this go back in again? It was like this. There we go, and then just wait, and then... Oh. That one didn't close all the way. So we'll leave that there. Oh, I'll leave it up. That's cool. I like that. Um, uh, there's this one. Let's go with this one. This one's also light. We'll, we'll go by weight. So, like, th this one's actually kind of dense. It's dense, but, like, this one's light. And then we'll go to 
Ooh, those are about the same weight. These ones. So we'll go for this one, then this one, then one of these ones. Because these ones, I think, are the same. And then we'll open these last, because that's, like, the cool stuff. Um, yeah, come on. Okay, I uh, got it open. Just had to pause there for a second. Part of the leather case is falling apart, but that's what you're going to get. It's another codec. can barely see it. Um, ooh. Oh, no way. It's one of these ones. Starmatics. Okay. Color lens. F8. It's a brownie. Yeah, we have a tiny one. Like a baby brownie. Well, I do. It's all my stuff. Here it is. Last patent date on it was 1942. So that could be, I don't know. I think it was 1942 to 1950-something. Yeah, there you go. This one has like nothing on the rangefinder. It's just blank. And then there's the... Let's say take the photo. Um, okay, I gotta be careful because this case is literally falling apart. Um, ooh, is that old elastic as well? Yeah. No, that's just like a shoelace. It feels like a shoelace. Um, and it's stuck in there. Come on. Um, give me a second. Uh, well, I'm, I'm not going to take it off because I think you're supposed to have it like that. I mean, yeah, you're supposed to have it like that because that's how you carry the whole thing is through there. So I'm not going to mess with that. But this is another one of the brownie cameras. I believe it uses 127 film. And to open it, it's just like the same thing. Like it has the film counter. That's what this red thing is. And the rangefinder. I'm guessing it's the same one. Same style. Oh, looks like it has like a light meter on it and a level. No, like a light level, I guess. Just like a light meter um yeah you can set the isa or iso no, <laughs> combine the both so all right that's kind of stiff i don't want to break anything yet i guess just to open it up it's just like the brownie where you is it slide down or slide up no oh, it's different oh no hold up oh okay that opened something open with the oh it's one of the okay there you go put the film in there and you put the other tab there and you wind it up um is anything interesting in there nope just kind of empty and well, obviously i took out the inside then come on is that it nope what does that say it has text on there 127 film i was right um Okay, I think that's, yeah, that's locked. Oh, and then you wind it through here. Just, yeah. Well, it doesn't have a lock. Um, you would wind until it said one, and then, you know, you would snap it, which is right here. This lever. There you go. And it locks until you wind it again, I'm guessing. I, I'm just going off the seat of my pants right now. Seat, seam, what is it again? Wind it until it says the next number and actuate again so i'm guessing that's like the light level and that's the range finder and that's the light meter i don't know uh we'll leave that there oh did not lock that whatever okay i'll fix that later uh next one was oh that was weird got like a muscle twinge e point of POV or opening up vintage cameras. POV or the knife. Eee. There you go. Oh, please sit. No, that was already there. Okay, that's good. I thought I cut it. It's the way the case opens. This one actually might be one of my favorite. Look at that. This is cool. It's probably also going to be Kodak. Watch. Um, but it's. Okay. Nice leather case. It smells like old leather. Reminds me of like walking to a military, military surplus store. This one smells kind of gross. This one, this one's like, hmm. Yeah, if you ever like smell like an old like leather helmet or something in a military surplus store, that's what it reminds me of. I know that's weird, but. Ooh. Ooh, Kodak Pony 135. Sheesh. Let me check out the rangefinder. Empty. Literally empty. Nothing there. Dang, this is cool. Oh, this is so cool. And that's the ISO dial, or is that the shutter speed? 
No, that's the shutter speed, and then that's the like. The, oh, that's weird. I don't. None of these I'll probably ever find film for ever again. Um, but let me let me take it completely out of its case. That's what this little knob is for. It's just like a my Unirex. Unwind it. This is annoying to do with one hand. How do people do this? Am I doing it right? Give me a second. Oh, never mind. Literally as soon as I put it out. My muscle is active. Like, can you see that? It's like twitching. That's weird. Hold on, though. I haven't held a, held a camera like this for a while. But then this is to rewind it. So you just put it on there, wind up the film, and you wind it up here. And then is there a frame counter or something? Or do you just have to guess? It doesn't say anyway. That's kind of suspicious. Um, what does it sound like when you actuate it? It's locked. I don't know. Oh, flash. What do you mean? F Kodak Flash 300. Oh, and then that's how you change the shutter speed. It's up here. Because you need all point and shoot cameras. And then... Oh, I see. Then you move this dial. That's how you select the film you're using. And then there's the focus ring right here. This is so weird. It's so tiny. So infinite 50 feet, I'm guessing. Then to 8 feet, half. Uh... Okay, you can pretty get some, some pretty close up shots with this. F35, 3.5. I was like, 30, F35? Damn, no, F3.5. Okay. 44 millimeter. So, wait, how do I. Oh, oh, see, this is, you have to, there you go, ready, and then, let me get this up to the mic, tiny, very tiny clicks, let me change, actually, let's see, let me change this to, you don't know, oh, I won't mess with that anymore, okay, um, we'll leave them out of the cases so we can do, like, one final pan over to and everything, um, oh, my, Okay, I'm going to take a break and figure out my arm muscle thing. Okay, um, I just realized I was filming in 4K, and I, I don't want that, because... I mean, it'll probably look better, because it'll compress better on YouTube. Um, <laughs> but I don't got that. I, I can't see it anyway. Yeah, um, probably won't be as good. I'm not using an iPhone. iPhones, I think, have the best camera quality for mobile phones. Um, move that out of the way. Shard. What the hell? Um, there's a black one and a, like a beige one. Uh, 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 uh this, this one, cause it has the, the lanyard, um, lanyard, what the hell am I saying? What do you, what do you call those? Okay, I'm going to cut my finger one of these times. What the hell? What the hell? Uh, no, these just a uh, what? I, what do you call them? A sling? I don't know. It's, so it's a coat of oh, you hold it like that. What film does this use? Let me take a look at that. Also empty, just like a Polaroid one. Um. This is weird. Kodak Instant Camera. Party time too. That's kind of cool. Um, so yeah, here's, this is how you adjust it. It's just like, very similar to a Polaroid. Um, so yeah, that's in the middle. Light and darkened. Uh, there's the actual uh, camera lens. And then that's the light meter. Um, and to open it, I'm guessing you just... So, I'm guessing it's like a Polaroid word. Like the, oh, that is. See, that's crunchy. Mm. Ooh, it's like a CD-ROM tray, but yeah, it's just like a Polaroid, and then there is a thing that says pull, this little metal tab, let's pull on it, pull, okay, I see that probably, that ejects it, you see how, like, it's on a lever, it's a lever, just pushes it out, and you just pull it out, that's cool, like, little, little jank, oh, and then the battery, ooh, uh, E. Does it slide down? That might have mercury in it. 
because how old it is. Um, I'm, I'm afraid to touch that with bare hands. Let me get some gloves on. Alright, gloved up. Both hands. That is so gross. These are so gross. And then it's the same thing. Push it in. Oh, you, can you hear that? Oh, 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 I'm going to have to vacuum that. Oh, gross. Oh, but not my thumb, obviously. That is gross, but... Oh, no. <laughs> this is going to be a work. Oh, there's the battery. It's slightly different. Oh, that's stuck in there. Okay. Um, two batteries. Okay. And that's where you put the film. Oh, that is gross. Oh, that is so gross. It's so corroded. You can barely see it. It's corroded right there. It's corrosion city. Ooh. Okay. Got that. That's kind of, that's gross. That's the grossest one. That's grosser than that one. Oh, and this one also seems older. Because of, like, look at that. Like, nice battery placement. Like, nice. But it's, it's like you took a Polaroid. And instead of having the viewfinder go this way towards me, you just have it pointed down. Like, here, I can demonstrate it. Whoop. Hopefully my feet aren't in there. I'll blur them if they are. Um, there you go. See my Polaroid Sun 6 uh, 100. Pretty good at shooting. Also got it off of eBay. Uh, come on. Oh, you can't see anything there. I forgot to have the... You know, playing. And there's also that down there. That other rectangle. That's to tell you, like... You know, if you have the light meter... Uh, like to lighten or darken. Um, oh... That's gross. Oh, that's so gross. Okay, now for the the triple entente, I guess that's what I'll call them. Go with this one, because this one, I kind of like the case, and it reminds me of my old binocular case, and my uh, old camera case. Um, ooh. Ooh. Oh, that is the manual? This is, ooh. <laughs> yeah, you remember what I was talking about, like that, that leather smell? This, but like ooh, three times stronger. It's kind of stiff. Come on. Pull out. Ooh, that's light. This is the polar. I've seen one of these in Germany. It's a no way. I and mean, you can't find film for these anymore. But holy crap! Almost. It's an expletive. Oh, that is. Oh, that is so cool. I don't know what that red is. I don't know if the. Hopefully, it's not like been charging a battery and gonna explode. Come on. Focus though. Can barely see it. There you go. There's blow high. There you go. Um, so that's how you lighten and darken it. Oh, that's that's jank. Oh, that's the battery for the flash. Distance for flash only. And then, uh, wait, I don't know if you saw that. Um, is this how you actuate it? Push down, push up. I don't know. Is that how you take the photo? How do you take the photo with this? All oh, the other ones have been kind of straightforward. Actually, I haven't checked these ones. Yeah, it's this button on the side. You you do that, and then you... Actually, I don't know. What about this one? Um, um... Yeah, is it just this? I don't know. Probably. Those will never probably work ever again. Wow, that was perfect English. Uh, let's open this bad boy up. This one is in good condition. Flash pictures use AG1 flash bulbs. That's what that is, I'm guessing. Hmm. Squeeze the red knob. That just sounds sus. There you go. It's just a barrel. It's just a light gun. What does that say? Battery cover. Push and lift. So yeah, does this come... So it has a battery... In it, unlike the Sun 600, which have the battery in the Polaroid case where you have like the film. No, is that how you take the photo? That lever? I, I don't know. So the kit obviously goes up through there. And then is it this? I, I don't know. Huh, that's cool. Let's look at, let's look at the manual. Pretty cromulent looking manual so far. How to use polar... Oh, it's a land camera. Okay. 
So, but there's no way I can ever find film for this, ever. I would probably have to buy expired film. Use the yes system and forget the distance for flash only dial. So wait, wait, that's what that red thing is? Oh, I can barely make it out where it says yes. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, this is old. How? Does it say anywhere? It, 67? 1167? No way. This is, this is, this is like, this is old. What does that say? Meet the, meet the, meet the. You can't say that nowadays. You, you can't. You can't say that nowadays. Meet the swinger. Man, that ain't the only thing swinging right now. Talking about, oh, it's one of these ones. You have to, like, peel it. You have to peel it and pull it out. Those are, like, hard to find for one for. I'll, I'll take a look at that later. That is so cool. Come on, get in there. That is so cool. Oh. <laughs> that smell is actually ooh. okay there you go six sixth camera now we're on to the seventh polaroid oh, i gave it away okay push in and then slide up oh oh yeah oh yeah please like how i got two of these these are like expensive oh it's heavy the, oh. <laughs> these are Hefty. These are the ones you can literally only take one picture at a time, then you peel it open, I believe. I believe that's these ones. Well, maybe. Let me, okay. Oh, that's... Can you see that? Can you see that flexing? I don't want to break it. Oh, is it, it could be a case. It could be a cover. Yeah, it has to be. Because it's like... How are you supposed to... Oh, it flips down. It's on a hinge. So you gotta... Uh... Whatever. Can I take a look at that? Okay. It has like a... It's square. I'll select the Instamatic. Yeah, it has like the square like border around it. Um, it has like a focus thing. It's, you can't... It says focus right there on that. Focus and then view. I don't know how you would focus with that. And what's that other one for? I don't know. How do you, how do you get this? I want to see it. How do you... Oops. I'm gonna press it. I'm gonna press it. Nothing. Okay. There. Oh, is that how you unlock it? I don't know. There you go. This is. This is the camera. Oh no! Wait! 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 No! No way! No way! You gotta be sh sh freaking me, bro. It's it's one of these ones that that pull out. She made a German noise right there. How do you? How do you pull it out? How do you, how do you pull it out? Damn, I've never gotten that asked in my life. Um, how, how, <laughs> give me one second. Okay, I haven't figured it out. Um, it, so, this is one. Do I push in? Because this push push up push up maybe? This is like an arrow going up. No. This? Oh no. Um. Oh, I don't know. I don't know how that is. Is there anything else in here? Like a metal card? Like a backing plate? It's probably, it probably belonged in here. I mean, there's nothing else in there? Okay. Um. Dang, how do you. I really want to expand it open. Cause that's. Oh, and you can take off the hinge so you, you can take a good photo um but th i really want to open that because i love these ones they're like the like accordion ones so so cool um if i figure it out later in the video i'll get back to it but uh one last camera my god my bed is a mess i could do it on my desk but uh I'm gaming on there right now all right next polaroid it's probably the same the m80 or whatever the, this automatic land camera yeah it is this one looks about the same same quality you know what i mean uh like it's not broken oh wait wait, wait. these have instructions how to use the polaroid cold clip i don't care but here if anyone wants to read that there you go pause the video if you need it um 
Same thing. Same deal. Uh, so do I have to push that to open it? I don't remember. It just like popped open. But yeah, it's the exact same one. Actually, it looks a little cleaner on the back. Yeah, it, it went, Oh, you can kind of see my reflection in there. I don't know. It looks a tiny bit clean. Just dusty. But it's like about the same. This one, I don't know. But one 20 second timer or 12. I don't know. Um, let's open this bad boy up. Um, how, do I do, how did I do it? How, how did I do it? Help me. Help, help me. I don't know. Actually, instead of opening that up, we'll open up the back, because this is... There you go. Clean rollers before inserting new film pack. To clean, so... You, oh my gosh, you have to clean the rollers. That's what it says right there. And then that... Oh, this is so cool. This is... These are, like, impossible to find film for. I'm just looking like there's nothing. Dang. This guy's gave me... Sold this all... I, I bought this for, like, 20 bucks, plus, like, $20 in shipping. All of this... That that's like a smacking deal, like these alone are probably that worth that much. And then the film is like three times the price because they don't make it anymore. Polaroid project, I'm or uh, Polaroid now. Just bring it back. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Um, let me close that. Let me open it real quick. Come on. There we go. Two cameras. Okay, so you do that. And then you press two. And that should just take the photo. That's cool. That's really sick. Okay, we'll do a once over of all the cameras. So we have... Kodak Disc 6000, kind of cool name, I like that, Kodak Brownie Starmatic, I like that, uh, things messing up, I have to look that back, a Kodak Pony 135, then two uh, Kodak Instant Cameras, one's a uh, Kodamatic, this is the Party Time one, right, yeah, Party Time 2, and then the EK6, the, uh, there you go, the, uh, the Honda Civic, and then these Polaroids, the Swinger, um, I kind of like this one. It's plasticky, but it's like I, it's got a nice weight to it. Little, little weird. These ones I think are the coolest ones though. Like out of the Polaroids, like that, 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 that one's cool. But like these ones, because these are like the older Polaroids. So I think Polaroid's been around since like the 40s or something. And these are has to be at least 50s. Like, cause this is from a guy's estate sale. So the, these have to be 50s. No way are they any earlier, or they could be. But dang, these are so cool. You know, this is my haul. It's better than a manga haul, actually. That, that's debatable. Um, but yeah, that that's so cool. I love this stuff. All right, thank you. That that's it for this video. Just something a little bit. Gotta go edit this. Um, I haven't edited a video in a while, but hopefully you can hear like the enjoyment in my voice. I'm being a little quiet, but like almost this entire time I had a smile on my face. Um, I'm not gonna show any of that because that's that's weird. That's here you go. Here's my fingers. Here's my hand. Make me look extra thick for some reason on my camera. I swear I'm not that large. Um, <laughs> but yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I know uh, this is the lighting was terrible, and especially looking at there and focusing through the fo uh, through the range finders, viewfinders. Sorry. Um, but yeah, hopefully you guys like that. That's this stuff is cool. Probably will never be able to use this stuff in my life. I will be getting a shelf soon, so that uh, my old video game stuff will probably be moving downstairs. And I'll probably have to move my old my stuff from school. That's what this is. And blow how you he's staying. Um. Anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, and I'll ca and I'll probably do a little video of just some of the shots I did while using my main camera, my Canon AE one. Um, if I don't, then well, it's how whatever I feel like. Anyway, thanks again. This is. I'll, I'll try and cut it down to at least under 20 minutes of a video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, uh, and tune in next time for an update in my camera addiction, my severe camera addiction. I don't need help. It's not a problem. It's a choice. Bye-bye.